Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the Xperia Z5 Premium versus the uh, Lumia 950 XL here side-by-side. -side. So uh, both are uh, very, very big phones if we first talk about the display here. Uh, you can see in terms of the size, it's not any difference, you know. Um, they are almost equal from top to bottom in, this, in terms of the size. But the actual screen is bigger on the on the Lumia here, which is 5.7 inch, uh, and it is uh, Quad HD, so definitely very awesome quality here. Uh, one of the best displays ever uh, by Microsoft, of course. Extremely nice quality display, Quad HD. Uh, while this one here is a 5.5 inch 4K display, uh, resolution is 2160 by 3840 so this is a 4k display if we take a closer look here extremely nice quality it has like almost 800 plus ppi wow so goddamn amazing display and it's a debate that uh, it's you know sometimes it's running on 1080p and uh, when you uh, like open up media content like photos and videos it's uh, it start to display that in 4k mode but but whatever it does have a 4k resolution even though it's you know sometimes switch to 1080p uh, but it will display the content in the 4k resolution so yes that is pretty damn awesome we might see more 4k display phones from sony uh z6 premium or something like that uh so yeah that was the display so both phones are really big 5.5 inch 5.7 inch not for everyone phablet category phones uh, uh requires big hands <laughs> So, and uh, also, if you can uh, take a look here uh, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the build quality here. So, uh, first of all, uh, the build quality is, is uh, in terms of premiumness. This one is more premium, but uh, this one provides more features like this is plastic. So, obviously, I'm not saying that it, uh, it's cheap or uh, anything like that, uh, but uh, it's definitely not up to the level of the Z5 Premium's premiumness so we're just gonna quickly open this back here very quickly so oops so you can see here that uh, we can remove the battery uh, we can also insert the SD card uh, you can also insert the micro SD card in your Z5 premium but it's not removable so battery is also not removable so uh, removable back is something like very rare nowadays so we don't really get this uh, feature with most of the phones uh, so, as you can see here, we have these touch buttons here uh, compared uh, to the Z5 Premium, which also has touch buttons. Uh, but these are um, same. You know, they they're not just actual. They're not the actual physical buttons, so they are touch buttons. And also, you can see here in terms of software. Uh, first of all, processor-wise, both have Snapdragon 810 uh, coupled with three gigs of RAM, so performance should be equal, but it's not. Uh, this one is way faster because of Android. Uh, it's optimized. Windows 10 is incomplete at the moment. It is going to take some time uh, for it will take some time for Microsoft to finally release a release a proper update to fix some issues. Then we might see this phone being you know unleashed in terms of performance. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be waiting for that moment uh, when that will happen. So we might have some more uh, improvement overall. So currently it's definitely not that good it has some issues some bugs and all that which I really hope that they should fix uh, overall of course if you are a Windows fan you will ultimately like this one more and our fans would like this one more it's just your personal opinion and uh, also if we talk about here in terms of the camera obviously you are spending a lot of money uh, this one costs around 75,000 PKR which is $750 here in Pakistan well this one cost almost the same I think 72 or 73 a little bit cheaper slightly 730 or 720 dollar but um, what's the difference you know it's not like a main major difference in terms of price we do have a 950 which has a smaller display and Snapdragon 808 chipset uh, but uh, still you know like the bigger one more uh, so uh, also you can see here we have 20 megapixel camera on the back which is just absolutely based uh, triple LED flash here tricolor LED flash and they have peer view technology from Nokia of course so camera is just so amazing we get clear pixel uh, pictures uh, you know it's not pixelated when you zoom in and all that uh, same thing here we get 23 megapixel camera with the Z5 premium this is uh, the fastest uh, world fastest autofocus camera currently and uh, it, it, this is just so goddamn amazing you know 
uh, when it comes to pictures and all that. I did a separate speed and camera test, you can check that out on my channel. I'm really impressed by the performance overall uh, out of both of these two phones in terms of camera wise. They can also record up to 4K. Uh, we don't really get the optical image stabilization with the Z5 Premium. Yeah, they have their steady shot. Uh, which is good, but it's not up to the level of uh, uh, to the, uh, up to the level of OIS, uh, which we get with the uh, Lumia 950XL. On the front, we get five megapixel on both phones, and I'm truly satisfied by the front camera quality on uh, both of these two devices. I'm just gonna quickly launch the camera here to show you guys how their UI look like. Uh, very very nice features overall. You can just capture the photo like this. Switch to the video mode pretty easily, uh, pretty easy to use actually. We do have a white balance control, auto, ISO, and other stuff. You know, uh, ISO, you can uh, change it all the way up to uh, 3200, which I remember uh, that's the maximum ISO that I have on my DSLR, which I used in the past uh, in terms of making videos. But I like to keep it on auto, uh, but in low light conditions, you might gonna have to increase the ISO a little bit more. I mean, of course, I'm not a camera professional, so I like to use it on auto, and it's pretty damn amazing when it comes to ca uh, capturing photos in on auto mode. Same here with the new Z5 Premium, you get this nice new camera app where you can switch modes pretty easily. Uh, we also have this app section where you can switch to 4K mode, AR effects, sticker creator, multi-camera, um, and also if you have the Vine application installed, you get it there. Uh, face in picture, you can even download more apps from their store. So uh, yeah, both are very f camera rich overall uh, and they provide a lot of features there. So I highly suggest that you check, uh, should check out my camera and speed comparison. And, um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, some additional things here is that we both get, uh, both of these two phones comes with a dedicated camera button here on the side. Uh, but we don't get the fingerprint scanner on the Lumia phone even though it's a shame because all the big Android uh, phones and of course iOS devices like iPhone 6s, 6s Plus that comes with the uh, micro uh, this uh, fingerprint sensor so uh, it's pretty damn easy uh, to unlock the phone like this and uh, also uh, we do get uh, waterproof capabilities here uh, which is something that uh, is not offered by other phone manufacturer so that's also a edge there with the Sony phone so just your personal opinion you know uh, I think both phones are really awesome it will come down to the operating systems I still think that uh, Android is just better currently uh, in terms of the optimization this one will take some time with the update uh, Berry Live is really nice they will survive up to one day uh, plus pretty easily uh, it just depends on your usage so um, yeah, that's just a quick uh, video on the on video comparison review between the Z5 Premium versus the Lumia 950XL. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.